It's actually afternoon. I've we've been like, why it's not having a very good day. But woke up and pretty much like went back to sleep. We've been out on the couch napping, and I don't know, like if it's my allergies that's bugging me, or if I'm getting sick, or what it is. But I think why it's having issues too, because he's been pretty grumpy today, and he's been having like a runny nose and stuff. So I need to get ready for the day. I'm just like. It's just like a blah day. Like I didn't vlog yesterday. I haven't edited any vlogs for the past couple days. I've just been like bleh. Um, so I'm gonna take a shower. I think that'll kind of help me, you know, wake up a bit. And then we can get the day started. <laughs> okay. I feel a little bit better. I'm just like showered. Matthew showered. Wyatt jumped in the shower with me. Emma's been watching Paw Patrol. She's pumped. We're making our way outside. First step on, first step, first stop on today's today. The bank. Stop number two. Matt has to go pay a bill. And Emma fell asleep in the car. She was up super late last night, so she is tired. And I took an allergy pill. Hopefully it helps. Like, it's this nostril, it's like clogged, but it's still running driving me nuts. Super nuts. A small white chocolate iced mocha. What was that? A small white ice. chocolate iced mocha. Absolutely. Anything else we say? That's all. Perfect. It'll be 431 around the window. Thank you. Stop number three. I need some coffee. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, just trying to work. <laughs> <laughs> I know where we're not going. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Or well, we did have a fourth stop, but um, we'll talk about it because there's no drive through at McDonald's. And we all know Matt's not going to get out of the car to go get McDonald's. <laughs> I'll just go to Burger King. <laughs> Across the street. <laughs> you know, I realized you flung McDonald's, so this worked out. It's a win win. Are you feeling Burger King? More so. All right, so my original, <laughs> so gay. My original plan. Right. Just I'm gonna turn. That's what you get. Ew. <laughs> Whoa! When you mute it, it pauses it. Just stranger. I mean, it makes sense. Does it? Kind of. Okay. Well. <laughs> Okay? Oh my god. But my original, don't. You're so gay. My original plan today was to like go to the park and we would get um, crushed ice. Stop! 30. Stop right, it. Hurry! Was to get, um, what is it? Shaved ice. shaved ice. To get shaved ice and take it to the park and then go play in the water and stuff. But Emma said that she didn't want that. You have your own french fries to eat. Ow. Ew. And so now we are just having a car picnic, Burger King, because Donald didn't have a drive through And we can't eat it outside. Can you stop eating my french fries? Jesus. Because it's way too hot outside. So we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to the park. 
All right, you can play your song now. All right, so we're at the Splash Park. Stop number five, I think, is what this is, and neither of my kids are playing in the water. We've literally been here for like 10 minutes, and maybe three seconds have been spent in the water. Look at my child over here. Sitting in the dirt. He's hiding over here. What are you doing? You're gonna open it? Here, I got this. Just push it. Push. That pull, push. There you go. Thank you. All right, don't slam it, okay? Or slam it. Yeah, it's locked, baby. Thank you. Quiet. Why are you sitting over here and not playing? Look at all that awesome water over there. Look at all the awesome water. No? There were ducks over here a little bit ago, but they've left. Look who's coming over. Oh, is he coming? Is he coming? <gasps> Yay! Did you play in all the dirt? I didn't last long. He is already over there. And this time he's like digging in the dirt. Oh, there he is. Oh. Alright, update. We are leaving the park. Neither of the kids really wanted to play in the water, except for Emma. He's look they're looking for something. Yeah. Except for Emma because do you think it's like a body or something? So the police helicopter is out. Oh jeez. Where'd it go? It's right there. Oh, I can't see it. But neither of the kids really wanted to play in the water and it is just way too hot. You guys see that? 115. It's way too hot to go play on like the slides and stuff at the actual park. So I think we're just going to drive around find something to do. I guess we're gonna drive through Sun City. <laughs> cookies so we made some cookies with the kids and that was so hilarious I didn't end the vlog last night. I was just super tired, so I didn't end it. So it is the next day, but I definitely wanted to talk to you guys about something. Matt kind of didn't want to talk about it, so I'm just gonna talk about it. Um, we actually found out, I wanna say like close to two weeks ago that we were going to have another baby. 
Um, and the timing, I mean, it was, eh. Like, it wasn't, like, horrible timing, but it wasn't, like, super awesome timing either. I mean, a due date, I'd, I would have two under two and then a four-year-old. So that kind of was like a little scary and also I knew it was going to be a challenge but um, about a week ago I actually started bleeding and so I immediately took another pregnancy test just to you know see what was going on and it was like super super faint and it took like the whole like three minutes or whatever to show up so I ended up having a chemical pregnancy unfortunately um so it's like i can't say that i'm like super sad i can't say that i'm like super upset uh this is our second miscarriage so even though like babies are super happy and exciting like i was definitely like happy that i was pregnant and i mean having a baby is just so wonderful but at the same time we have gone through a loss before and so it's kind of like that first trimester and like we really don't like say anything to anybody and we kind of like keep it hush hush just because of the fact we have had a miscarriage before and it's like it sucks getting yourself excited about something like that and then having like friends and family be excited for you and then you know that like a loss happen and I am, I'm, I don't think this is allergies, I'm definitely getting sick. So, like, we ended up telling a couple people, and then, you know, I started bleeding, and it's just, yeah. But the very weird thing is, so, and I think it's, like, the exact same time frame. So, what had happened last time when I had a miscarriage, it was the exact same time frame. Emma had just turned one. It was like a month after her birthday that I had gotten pregnant. And the same thing happened here. It's why it just turned one in April. Got pregnant in May. And both of them ended in miscarriages. And I didn't get pregnant with Wyatt until I think like six or seven months after um, my very first miscarriage. So... I just I don't think that my body is ready after having a baby I know it's I think it's like 18 months or two years is like the recommended time frame of after having a baby to have another one and I know so many people that it that doesn't they've gotten pregnant like a month or two after they've had a baby um, but I think and especially since this has happened a second time, I just don't think that my body is ready to have a baby. And I don't know, like, I feel like I shouldn't get pregnant if my body isn't ready to. But anyways, I just don't think that my body is ready to handle a pregnancy to full term. Um, so that's what's going on. So it's kind of like a little life update. Um... You know, I think that we not necessarily are going to try to have another baby. I honestly, like, we don't, like, overly try. It just kind of, like, if it happens, it happens. And if it happens, we're happy. If it doesn't, you know, we have two awesome kids. And, you know, if we just have two kids, then that's completely fine. We are happy either way. So... Yeah, that's kind of just a little update on everything. So this is how I wanted to end the vlog yesterday. And I wanted to do this with Matt, but Matt was kind of just like, you know, you don't, I don't, wouldn't know what to say and you kind of can do this on your own. It's, you know what I mean, guys. And I hear Wyatt waking up, but I'm going to end the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.